In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to change the meeting organizer or owner in Outlook. This is something that can be a bit tricky since Outlook doesn't provide a direct option for switching meeting organizers. However, we have a workaround to ensure your meetings continue smoothly. Let's get started by navigating to the Microsoft Outlook webpage. Once you're there, click on the sign in button. Doing so will take you to the login page where you'll need to enter your credentials, ensure that your login details are correct, and then click next to proceed. Once you've successfully logged in, you'll be directed to the Outlook dashboard. Here, you'll find a variety of options, but the one we're interested in is the calendar, which you can locate by heading to the top left corner of the dashboard. Look for the calendar icon and click on it to access your calendar events. As we dive into the calendar, it's important to note that Outlook doesn't have a built-in function to directly replace the meeting organizer. I understand this can be frustrating, but don't worry, there is a process you can follow to reset the meeting ownership. Essentially, the current organizer needs to cancel the existing meeting before transferring organizing duties to someone else. To do this, find the event that needs a new organizer. After locating the event on your calendar, click on it to open the detailed view. Look for the option to delete or cancel the event, which is typically marked clearly. It's crucial that this event is deleted to make room for the meeting's new version under the new organizer. By doing this, you'll ensure there's no overlap or confusion between events. Once the original event is canceled, the new organizer can take over. The new organizer should now go back to the calendar and create a new event with the same details as the original one. They can add all relevant information including time, date, and participants. This will reestablish the meeting with them as the organizer, giving them control over the event details going forward. By following these steps, you ensure a smooth transition of meeting ownership in Outlook. While it might require a bit more effort compared to a simple transfer, this approach allows you to maintain control and organization of your calendar events. Thank you for watching and I hope this process becomes an easy and effective part of your toolkit when managing meetings in Outlook. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to reach out. Until next time, happy organizing.